Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for watching today's video. It's always much appreciated. Today guys, I'm going to share with you a secret you've never heard before. You've never heard me talk about it. This is sort of one of those things I've kept under wraps and I'm going to let it out today. We're going to be talking about the Zoom Chartreuse Pepper Dead Ringer um, as one of the top flipping baits that you can use this time of year. I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on how to use it and a little background on how it got onto it. So let's get into it. So anyway, guys, here it is. This is the uh, Zoom Dead Ringer. It's like the old ringworm style. Uh, this is, I've caught so many fish on a, the Dead Ringer over the years. It's just unbelievable. In fact, that the last Bassmaster 150, I won down at the Mobile Delta at the last day of the tournament. This thing bailed me out uh, when they sort of got off my jig a little bit. So uh, responsible for at least one Bassmaster win for me. And uh, specifically in the chartreuse pepper, straight chartreuse pepper color. Now, how I got onto this, I was fishing an old, a lot of you guys that fish my part of the country, you've heard of Central Pro-Am. I was fishing a Central Pro-Am tournament down at uh, Lake Dardanelle, long time ago, man. This has been back in the early 90s down there. And Dardanelle is a dirty water fishery down there. There's a lot of what, what's called these water willows. They look like, they're just little weeds that grow in like a foot or three foot of water like that around the lake. And anyway, um, a buddy of mine said his co-angler whacked him out of the back of the boat, <clears throat> fishing a chartreuse ringworm, flipping it into those into those flooded water wheels down there. And I, you know, I've used black with chartreuse tail before, but I've never used a straight chartreuse ever before. Most of the time, when you're when you're talking about a straight chartreuse ringworm, you put it on a spinnerbait trailer, which it makes a great spinnerbait trailer. Don't get me wrong, <clears throat> but I've never flipped it as a straight flipping bait before. So anyway, I found that sort of remarkable because the area that this guy wound up catching them in, it was getting pounded. I mean, it was getting a lot of fishing pressure and not that many guys did good in it. So I started taking it over the next couple of years and sort of trying to duplicate the same scenarios, guys. And I, anytime that water gets hot, like in July, August, and early September, guys, this is one of my top flipping baits anymore in specific uh, water conditions I'm gonna get into in a second straight you know chartreuse pepper zoom dead ringer right here now let's talk a little bit about conditions because it, it's very conditional as far as the uh the the window that it works in condition wise number one you have to have just the right water visibility can't be too dirty can't be too clear so for the most part you're looking at water visibility of sort of been that um i'm going to guess uh, 12 inches to at the very most two foot like you know one to two foot range which there's a lot of water in most lakes across the country some some part of the lake has some type of visibility between one to two feet but that that window of one to two foot visibility is so critical i don't know what it is but it's just there's something about the way that the chart the solid chartreuse pepper worm the, the glow and the look that it gives off in that kind of water visibility is just really, really good. Another thing with it, I have not done that good in any type of tannic water. So if you guys are fishing lakes like in Florida that has a lot of vegetation in it, you know, that black tannic looking water hasn't been that good. So um, just more traditional type lakes as far as the water, the tent goes on it. So what I'm doing with this is I'm flipping it and pitching it. Most of the time I'll use 17 to 20 pound test Seaguar and Vizix line, and the sinker size is critical. 3 16 ounce, guys, is what you want to use on it. You don't want to use eight, you don't want to use quarter, you don't want to use 5 16 3 16 sinker, for whatever reason, makes this bait fall perfectly combined with that 17 to 20 pound test and Vizix line. Pitching it and flipping it. Now this is something, I'm not casting it, This is, I'm not throwing it on a spinning rod, I'm flipping it on my flipping stick. Uh, pit, it, it flips and pitches, you know, fairly good, even if it's a small bait like that, around whatever sh shallow cover available is available. Now, I have done better around any type of shallow grass. And when I'm talking about shallow grass, I'm not talking about the type of shallow grass in the tannic water, like I said, of Florida or some parts of Texas. I'm talking about shallow grass like you'd have for gator grass in Lake Eufaula in Alabama, for water willows in Lay Lake or Logan Martin Lake in Alabama, uh, water willows you'd have in, in uh, uh, some Oklahoma lakes, some gator grass again you'd have like on Lake Dardanelle, shallow grass, lily pads, that type of stuff can be really, really good with that. Shallow woods also good, lay downs around boat docks, that type of stuff, piling docks, stumps, any type of shallow cover with that. But anyway guys, 
it's mainly a color secret. It's not anything that the bait is that much special. It is a small profile bait, and a lot of times you'll get more bites in the summertime by downsizing your flipping baits to a little smaller, but it will catch quality fish, and there's something about this color, the chartreuse pepper, that it'll get bites when nothing else will. It's like you, you talk about people all the time, say they get into areas that have a lot of heavy fishing pressure, and they get on some little deal that nobody else is doing. <laughs> this is a perfect example with it, because if I'm fishing down a, down a stretch, a bank that's got some people fishing it, and they're biting this thing here, and I know they're biting it, and nobody else is fishing it, I got no problem going right behind people, you know, that have just fished a bank, because I'll catch them on this thing. So another, another thing that will help out a little bit is, um, a lot of times I'll take some like yellow or chartreuse fingernail polish and I'll paint over my slip sinker to make it match up a little bit more on there. It, it may or may not matter. Most of the time I'll use black, but sometime I'll get, you know, really picky and I'll put a little chartreuse fingernail polish on it. So anyway, guys, get you a few. I'll put the Baitworks link in the description. You can get you some at Baitworks here in Springfield. They got them there and uh, really good between now and September. Give it a try. We'll see you guys.